Welcome back to Scouting for History. While we're on the topic of scouting for things, this Saturday, November 20th, is the annual Scouting for Food campaign. Scouts all across the country go around their neighborhoods gathering non-perishable goods that people have left on their doorsteps Saturday, November 20th, uh, to collect them and distribute them to local food banks for people who really need the help. So if you got a tag or a bag or a pamphlet or a flyer, uh, letting you know that the Scouts will be in your neighborhood, please be generous and put something out for them. If you didn't get any kind of notification, don't worry, you can still participate. Just gather together any uh, food items that you can donate, take them to the nearest shelter or church or food bank or whatever in your neighborhood and lend a hand. All right, on with the show. So the SP-24 is also very good at getting around tight areas like the bases of trees, through the landscaping, but also where you get false signals like here. There's a lot of rebar and reinforcement in the concrete here that gives a false signal. Well, not a false signal. I mean, there's something there, but it's not anything I can dig up. It's not anything I want. So. Um, the SP-24 lets me get up right next to it. So here we have a giant hunk of uh, old iron that was right under the surface. So we could never do field mode with things like this in the ground because this will just silence anything that might be underneath it. So got to get it all out of the ground before we can move to step two. Well, on to something better. And my first coin of the day is a wheat penny. I don't know how old, but... We'll clean it up and see. So, encouraging that the first coin is that old, but hopefully there's older. This house is built in 1906, so there could be Indians and barbers and all kinds of good stuff here. So, on to the next. Well, down here at the base of this giant tree here, I thought I had an Indian for a second. Oops. Uh, it was all green, but it's an old wheat penny. I'll we'll clean it up and see what date we can get off of it. If we can get a date, <laughs> it's pretty worn down. I don't have my glasses on. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it looks interesting. Might be a really old coin. Might be trash. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'll clean it up and see what I can figure out. But... Now, right over there, I pulled a pull tab out of the ground. But, like I say, you got to get everything out of the ground to hear all the stuff. So then I got another pull tab signal here. But it's not a pull tab. It's a dog tag, or a cat tag, or some kind of critter tag. So, well, it's for Cleo. Poor Cleo. So, I'll figure out if I can find out who the owners are return the tag to them. It might lead to another permission. So on to the next. Now you can't always go by the signals. Um, this is this is an old copper penny. It's a, a wheat penny. You can see on the back faintly you can see one cent right there. Um, but it's filed down. It's the size of a dime. I find these per, you know every now and then I think what people used to do is they would file the pennies down to the size of a dime so that they could use them in phone books. So they use them in pay phones uh, and cheat the phone company out of their dime. Well, nine cents. So, off, on to the next. And I'm not quite sure what they are. I thought I was digging a penny, but uh, they're very light. They're like aluminum. But, uh, well, I'll see whether they're kind of some kind of trash or treasure. It's one or the other. 
So just a little tip on uh, interpreting signals here. So you get a high tone, but when you pinpoint and you get over the spot where it says it is, you get iron grunts. So that's a big piece of iron down there. So not a desirable target. In fact, not one we can get because it's it's part of the sewer system. So we'll leave that be. Well, it was all modern, but hey, three dimes. <laughs> so I've got 30 cents more. Well, on to the next. Well, spoke too soon. It was four dimes. Let's scan real quick and see uh, see if there's any more. Nope. Four is it. On to the next. Just when I thought I was going to give up on this yard, this pops up about an inch underground. I don't know whether it's a barber or a seated. Uh... You'll see it right here. I am not going to clean it in the field. It's a barber. It's a barber, but I'm not going to clean it in the field. So you'll see it right here. That is cool. That myth that made my day. <laughs> I almost didn't dig that one, uh, which I, I always say dig everything because you never know. But that one was really scratchy. Um, there was something else in the hole. I'm going to find out what it was, but um, that's why you got to dig everything, even the questionable signals. You got to dig it because you never know what it's going to be. Well, here we go. Just about a foot away from that other one, I have this. And it's a Merc. All right, two dimes on the day. Cool. All right, stay tuned. You'll see what it is. Fingers crossed, getting a nice silver dime signal right here. I hope I'm not jinxing it. Well, still in the hole. And that's why. It's just a, <laughs> the lid to a can. Boy, all right, on to the next. Well, something kind of old. It's a, it's a key. Don't think it fits the house anymore, but it'll go in our key collection. Yeah, it's cool. On to the next. And another wheat penny. Uh, still some old stuff here, but uh, getting closer to the shed, and it's picking through all kinds of trash. So, but hey, we'll stick with it. There's good stuff here. I almost gave up. I was chasing this squirrely little signal. But it's a tiny little butterfly. It's a little pin. That's like the fourth butterfly pin I found in town in the last year. So that is really cool. <laughs> I'll clean up. See if it's anything special. Well, it is special. Um, I found it. On to the next. Dun dun dun. Full tab. <laughs> so, in the front yard, I didn't even get any pull tabs. Uh, all I got was modern stuff you know, right near the surface. So, I'm pretty sure that the front yard has been replaced. It's the curse of town. Everybody at some point had their lawns replaced. Um, and there is nothing. I can hear deep iron because I have the iron audio set to one. So I can hear it in the background, but there's nothing else. It's like scanning at the beach and there's no signals. Um, but here in the backyard, I found a few things. So uh, apparently they didn't have the lawn redone all the way to the backyard. 
problem is, is in the backyard there's all kinds of trash because the garage is here. Um, but uh, the garage has a dirt floor, so we'll go in there and take a look around. So, all right, stay tuned. Well, here in the scary shed, um, it has a dirt floor and, well, it's gravel and dirt, so that's going to be fun to dig. Um, but he said it's it's perfectly fine to uh, detect in here. Oh, I see an anchor. <laughs> but, uh, so I'll poke around a little bit, uh, but uh, there are so many sounds in the floor here from a hundred years of people dropping things, so... Uh, I'll see if I can't squeak out a good signal or two and uh, bring you back. Well, a little poking around, I managed to squeak out a couple of modern coins. Um, there's a fabric across the floor and then dirt and gravel over top of it. So I think that this had been dug out at some point, uh, probably in the last, you know, 20, 30 years. Uh, but I'll give it another shot and see what I can find. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today. Um, found a couple of good things. It was a, a, I wouldn't call it wildly successful, but it was fun. A uh, few little goodies. But the uh, again, the best thing we got was a couple permissions. Out of it. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next hunt. Thanks for coming along. Well, bonus footage. So the guy across the street had said I could detect his yard too. I said, I'll come back another time. Yeah, I'm not going to do two yards in one day. These are big yards, by the way. Um, but uh, when I packed everything up, uh, I thought, well, let me just scan right by the car. So I scanned three feet. I got a mercury dime. <laughs> so I'm feeling better about this house across the street, but uh, I'll be back in a couple of days to do this one. So stay tuned and uh, come along. Oh, and don't forget this Saturday, November 20th, drop off that food. See you on the next one. Hey, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So, all right. See you in the next time. Bye.